Hello, hello. Here's how to make your school notes go from this to this with TiddlyWiki. If you don't know what TiddlyWiki is, it is an open source, no cost, digital offline notebook that is very flexible. Heck, you can even search your notes. And if you're wondering, will this work on my device? The answer is this. You can view, edit, and transfer your TiddlyWiki notes onto any device. To get started, go to https colon slash slash tiddlywiki.com. This will take us to the tiddlywiki homepage where we're going to need to scroll down until we see a green download button. We're going to want to click that button and this will download an empty tiddlywiki notebook. I recommend also clicking the gray checkmark button near the top right of the tiddlywiki website. This will download the entirety of the website as a tiddlywiki notebook. This can be accessed offline and used as a help file as you learn more on how to use TiddlyWiki. If you're worried about it being a large file, don't be because it's only about 8 megabytes. From there, we're going to go to where our TiddlyWikis are downloaded, and I recommend if they're in the downloads folder, taking them out of the downloads folder and moving them into a designated folder named TiddlyWiki to keep all of your TiddlyWiki notebooks in. I also recommend renaming the tiddlywiki.html file to tiddlywikihelp.html just so it's easier to keep track of what's what. Next, we're going to open up the empty.html file. This will open up an empty tiddlywiki notebook. From there, you'll be greeted with the Getting Started Tiddler where you can give the notebook a name, subtitle, and if you'd like, you can get rid of Getting Started out of the default tiddlers box if you don't want it to appear every time you open up the notebook. From there, you can close the Getting Started Tiddler, and to start adding notes, we're going to click the plus button. This is where the fun begins. Here, you can give the Tiddler a name, give it tags, and, of course, type your notes. Text formatting in TiddlyWiki is done by surrounding or prefixing the text with specific characters. For example, if you want your text formatted in bold, then you'll want to surround your text with two single quotes on either side of the text and when you're done editing, the text will be formatted in bold. Here's a mini cheat sheet on basic text formatting that you can take a screenshot of. Here I made some example notes in order to demonstrate a little bit of what we can do with TiddlyWiki. To see what our notes look like, we can click the gray checkmark button near the top right of the editor, and this will show us what our notes look like. To close the Tiddler, we're going to click the gray X button at the top right corner of the Tiddler, and this will close the Tiddler. To see a list of all of our notes, we can either go to the Recent tab, and this will show us a list of all of our notes in the order in which we last edited them, from most recent to oldest. Another way we can see a list of all of our notes is by going to the More tab and clicking the All tab, and this will also show us a list of all of our notes, except in alphabetical order. Now, if you don't like the default colors, you can customize by going to the Tools tab and clicking the Palette button. This will give you a list of pre-made color palettes. Here's a couple of different pre-made palette themes that you can choose from. Furthermore, if you don't like those palettes, you can create your own palette by going to the More tab and then clicking another tab called Explorer and then opening up the Palette Manager Tiddler. This is where you can create your very own palette. Lastly, and most importantly, save your TiddlyWiki notebook by clicking the red circle button whenever you've written a bunch of notes or whenever you're done writing notes for the day. TiddlyWikis do not automatically save, so if you close your TiddlyWiki before saving your notes, the notes you just made are gone. I recommend creating a subfolder inside of the TiddlyWiki folder that we made earlier in this video and naming it whatever your specific TiddlyWiki notebook is named. From there, take that TiddlyWiki notebook that you just saved out of the downloads folder and put it into the designated folder that you made for that notebook and number the versions with the date. This way, if you forget when to save your notes or you mess up your notebook somehow, you'll always have a version to fall back onto. From there, whenever you want to view or edit your notes, you just select the most recent version and there they are. Happy note taking!